hello everyone this is Vishnu and you are watching tech tutorial video today's tutorial is about how to zip a file or folder in Windows 7 it would be helpful for people new to computer or new to Windows operating system so first of all why do we need to zip a file or folder Mainly there are two reasons for which we may need to do this. Number one, suppose you are trying to send a big file to someone via mail and it is taking too long to attach or not even allowing as because of the size. So zip it, reduce size, attach and send. Number two, you may need to send multiple files to someone. Instead of attaching all individual files separately in your mail, you can zip all of them together, make a single file, and then attach and send a single file. Now let's check out how can we zip a file or folder in Windows 7. There are many compression softwares available in the market which can be used for this purpose. Couple of them are 7-zip, which is open source, WinZip, WinRare, etc. But Windows 7 has its own inbuilt compression feature. We are going to use that one. First thing I'm going to show you how to compress or zip a single file. Here I have a sample Microsoft Excel file of 495 kilobyte. To compress or zip I'm going to right click on it then I'll go to send to compressed or zipped folder. That will create a new file which is a zipped file in the same destination folder. And you can see that the size of the new compressed folder is 31 kilobyte, which was earlier 495 kilobyte. The level of compression we can achieve depends upon type of file we are dealing with. For example, here I have a JPG file of 106 kilobyte. Let's try to compress this one. And we can see that the compressed file size is 99 kilobyte, just reduced by couple of kilobytes. So for JPG file, the compression results are not too good. Now I'm going to show you how to compress or zip multiple files together into a single file. Here I have couple of Word document, some pictures, and one Microsoft Excel file. To compress all of them together I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to move all these files to that new folder. Let's check out the size of all these files together and it is 2.30 megabyte. To compress all of them together now I'm going to do the same thing send to compressed or zipped folder that will create a new compressed or zipped file and let's check out the size of this file which is reduced to 1.38 megabyte so this is how you can compress a folder or multiple files together so this is all about today's tutorial hit the like button if you like it let me know if you have any comment or suggestion subscribe for more such tutorial Thank you for watching tech tutorial video, take care, bye bye, see you soon with another tutorial.